Rockets 101. Um, this is a rocket powered car. Now, these are often confused. David, will you shut up? It happened both Carol and I walking through the pits at Santa Pod. I don't know what little club meeting or something we turned up at. And we happened to see this little tiny little little dragster car there with no apparent engine in it. Really scruffy little old dragster with a hybrid rocket in the back. And we got talking to them, we got interested in it and um, we started trying to help them because while they knew about the rockets, they knew nothing about building a car. David will tell me when it's all clear and I'll switch the car on with the master switch. So David, if you give me the all clear. Clear. Right, so the car's now energized. I've not done anything else. And um, when we're ready to go, he'll tell me. Next instruction. I've forgotten. Foot, foot, foot. Foot. It's right, it's so long since I, I, I apologize. Foot, for foot, foot. foot. And then pilot, 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 and then go, go, go. Being, say, having had brain tumour, it affects my memory on, in time-wise. It really got started out of David being very ill and me needing to be busy and do something, and, and then David needing to have a focus uh, as he recovered from his brain tumour. I can remember what I was doing as a five-year-old. I remember bits of glass, pedal cars, playing everything else. But why for dinner, yesterday, forget it. When you're ready. Yeah, what, 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 you've just gone through it all, haven't no, you? No, no, but we want to actually do it. You give me the instruction and I follow the instruction. Okay, okay. Well, okay. In the beginning, I had to be the driver because I was the only one. David wouldn't get in it. Um, and I'm skinny. And I was the only one around that understood enough about the car to be able to operate it. If it came down to the crunch, yes, I would drive the car. She's done all the development driving. She knows whether it's feeling better or not and such like. So it's, and it's a whole different animal the way you do things. So, yeah. But bear in mind, I'm wearing a helmet. I'm wearing a fire suit. You have earpieces on. And... I've got earpieces in. Right. Car's on. Foot, foot, foot. Put my foot down. Fireworks lit. Pilot. Throw that switch. Pilot's thrown. In your time. Go, go, go. And we're off. You're testing in public. And you're paying for the privilege, but the crowd there don't know that. They think you're there to entertain them. And so when you do put the car on the start line on a hot day in the middle of summer, which we shouldn't have done, it went poof. and it goes bang, uh, you're pushing the car back here in all this, oh, that was a piece of crap, wasn't it? And, and, you know, what the fuck wrong with that? And all that kind of stuff. So you can come home quite crestfallen after a weekend too. Now, if he sees anything wrong, Abort, 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 which is lift your foot, shut the throttle, get the parachute out. The only problem is it's making so much noise I can't hear it. Because my neck is so bad, I can't take a shock at the moment. Uh, having to put my brother in, uh, from our point of view, it's not a good commercial move at all. But it's that or not do it. So, um, 
hey, that's annoying. And, and anyway, I mean, it's so much fun to do. <laughs> it's so much fun. You cannot believe what it feels like when you open up the throttle on a thrust car. It's so completely different to anything else you've ever done. Uh, it, it's, I'm scared to death before I get in it. I'm breaking it. But once I'm in it and I'm doing it, it is just the best fun. It's so much fun. And some, we've done all this work and some other bugger's going to get to enjoy it now, you know, which... You know, I just hope that at some point I can get my neck sorted out to the point where I ri dare risk going fast and dumping a parachute and I can get back in it. Well, that remains to be seen. Such as little bits of life that come from the side and ruin all your plans and everything else, and <laughs> yeah, it, it just yeah. goes tits just, up. Just yeah. when you think everything's okay, the sky falls on your head. You know, and nothing to fear but the sky falling on our head. If the wheel is fixed, then let's take a chance. If we're treading on thin ice, then we might as well dance. Still I play the fool And I can't sit still Let me get this rock To the top of this hill And you do it till you're sick of it You do it till you can't do it no more Friends will pity you I guess that's what they're for Still they leave you like they found you find you on the floor and you do it till you're sick of it you do it till you can't do it no more that's the rocket car driver's song <laughs>